Let me make something very clear. I hate creationism versus evolution debates. Not that I think there's no merit in an open exchange of ideas, but when you make it this public, it gets really reductive really fast. It's usually just two guys regurgitating the exact same talking points we've been over a hundred times. What's even worse, though, is the recent influx of faith-based movies in the wake of God's Not Dead. These are not movies. These are arguments, and one-sided arguments at that. I actively dislike all these types of movies except one. Kirk Cameron's Saving Christmas. This is the story of a disenfranchised Christian named, I'm not kidding, Christian White. When he disappears from the family Christmas party, his brother-in-law, the good Christian boy Kirk Cameron, playing the very originally named Kirk, finds him in his car lamenting how unchristian Christmas has become. Kirk then spends most of the movie explaining exactly why everything about Christmas is totally fine with Jesus. This is why I actually enjoy this film. It's as reductive and misguided as any pure flix film, but it comes much more from a place of love and acceptance than the us versus them mentality of those other films. And honestly, while the idea of someone agreeing with God's Not Dead kinda worries me, I can't believe anyone would ever agree with the points in this movie. The basic argument is that there is nothing wrong with the way we as Americans celebrate Christmas. Whether you think the holiday is too commercial or too secular, everyone can come up with some problems with Christmas. I can overlook it and enjoy the holiday for what it is, but it's far from perfect. Unless you're Kirk, that is. And so many of these arguments are such a stretch. A Christmas tree is okay because it's made out of wood, just like the cross. And the presents look like the Bethlehem skyline? What? My favorite, however, is when Christian mentions King Herod's men killing all the children in the land, and Kirk tells him to imagine the Nutcrackers, our Herod's soldiers, come to kill the children of the Israelites. I could not make this shit up. That's about half the movie. The rest is Kirk's insane friends and relatives just being weird. The marketing makes this film look like it's gonna be a war on Christmas movie, but it's not. It seems to be making fun of those people. All right, man, check this out. We gotta go on the offensive. It's like the rapper Sugar Free said, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. They're already taking away our freedom of speech. I can't say Merry Christmas at work no more. I have to say Happy Holidays, but I am not in the days. I am wide awake. It's deeper than that, though. You heard about Area 51? What about Area 52? Uh, full points for Kirk Cameron. I, I swear, this has to be some elaborate troll. And then the film ends with the whitest dance-off you've ever seen. It's a laugh riot. This is one of the lowest rated movies on IMDb, which is kind of fucking ridiculous. Cameron maintains this was a targeted attack, and he's probably right. Not that the movie is any good at all, but it doesn't deserve this. This is not the worst movie ever made, it's not even the worst Christian movie ever made. That movie is God's Not Dead 2. Not everyone will find this movie as funny as I did, but if you know what you're getting into, this is absolutely worth a laugh. If you're into bad movies, watch this movie. Never watch these movies.